Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Akim. This is the brother Aaron again, and today we're going to go over a class concerning Yahweh Shai, mercy and judgment. So let's jump into it. This is John 7 and 28. Then cried Yahweh Shai in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself. But he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. So we see here Yahweh Shai teaching in the temple. This is John 7 and 37. In the last day, the great day of the feast, speaking of the Feast of Tabernacles, Yahweh Shai stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Yahweh Shai was not yet glorified. So we have Yahweh Shai teaching in the temple, and Yahweh Shai speaking of the Holy Ghost. And he calls the Holy Ghost, for those who believe on him would receive, out of their bellies shall flow rivers of living waters. So this is key. The rivers of living water. Okay. This is John 8 and 1. Yahweh Shai went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again unto the temple. So this is the next day. And all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery. In the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. So, what they were trying to do, they were trying to get Yahweh Shai caught up in the law, but Yahweh Shai, knowing the law, he understood what they were trying to do. So, let's go into the law and break down what it was that they were trying to accuse a. Yahweh Shai of. This is Deuteronomy 22 and 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die, both the man that lay with the woman and the woman. So shalt thou put away evil from Israel. So we see according to the law that you have to bring both the man and the woman for that those individuals to be stoned. But what the scribes and Pharisees did unto Yahweh Shai, they brought only the woman. So to condemn the woman without a man, without the man, would be an unrighteous judgment. So back to verse 6. This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Yahweh Shai stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Yahweh Shai was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Yahweh Shai had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh Shai said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So now, what we're going to find out, we're going to find out exactly what Yahweh Shai wrote on the ground concerning this issue. And we find that out in the book of Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 17 and 13. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. So remember, in those first scriptures, it spoke of Yahweh Shah teaching in the temple, and he spoke of the Holy Spirit, and he was speaking of the fountain of living waters. So here in Jeremiah 17 and 13, we're going to break it all down. So now, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. So who was it that forsook Yahweh Shai? It was the scribes and the Pharisees. 
Who was it that was ashamed? It was the scribes and the Pharisees because it stated that they were convicted by their own conscience. And who was it that departed from Yahweh Shai? It was the scribes and the Pharisees. And who was it that Yahweh Shai wrote in the ground? It was those same scribes and Pharisees. Why? Because they forsook the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Okay. This is Sirach 28 and 3. One man beareth hatred against another, and doth he seek pardon from the Lord? He showeth no mercy to a man which is like himself, and doth he ask forgiveness of his own sins? If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for pardon of his sins? This is James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. And with that, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.